Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to another Mulberry Villa episode. So here we are in the central city. Lots has been going on. And I've been working on the fish fountain. So here we are. We've got uh, just some basic kind of outlines, almost like kind of structure lines of the build. We've got the back coming up here and kind of arching over. And I've kind of given it a little bit of a kind of ridge on its spine of bedrock walls. I decided to use these for the main body because kind of at a distance they kind of look a little bit scaly. So I thought they would work well. And I've put down these lines here to kind of denote how the body gets wider. And so most of the blo most of the build really is going to be these blocks with some other stuff added in to give it some color. Well, not uh, you know, some 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 change. It's going to be mostly white. And the mouth and head is going to be... Oh, just a moment. I'm getting a little bit sneezy. Oh, that's always awkward. And that happens to be uh, going to be recording something. Anyway, here we go. Um, I was thinking I'll put the head just here somewhere. And uh, I haven't come up with a design for the mouth yet. But we will see. So, yeah. Something along this line. And... Coming down here. Now, if we take these out here, just give us a little bit more of an idea. So it comes in here. I'll probably have the eye somewhere here. I'm not really sure. Is this a really. I'm probably going to have to kind of hash things out and then do a lot of redesign because this is a very kind of complicated build. But elsewhere, um, if I just lay it out now, will I have that? That all looks a bit flat. So what I'm going to do is bring it out at this point here and then bring it down. I think I can work on this kind of bit here later on. Now... This bit was going to be going down like this, wasn't it? Then down, and then out. And then down, and then out, and then down. And down. Okay, cool. So that gives kind of a sense of a body mass. Yeah, that's working. This is a really interesting build because it's uh, it's really, it's really kind of, I I haven't done much in the way of building organic objects before, so this is a really challenging build. And I um, I'm not sure how well it's going to turn out, but I am quite excited for it. So yeah, that's looking cool. Now the head is going to be the really challenging part. Now what I think might be a good idea is if I if I come up with kind of a outline for the limp for the kind of an outline for the head here. Now that block is the central block. Yeah, so if I got this and then bring it in. Let's see how this looks. That could work. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to use these blocks for the lips. I'm not actually sure what I'll do for that yet. This is just something to give me an idea of the shape I'm probably going to be working with. So is that, or will I have it like that? Hmm. Probably like that because the water's going to be pouring out of it. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, I've got a lot of other stuff to um to show off in this episode as well. Uh, um, Kate Kate has built another kind of obstacle thing. This time it is a maze. So I thought I would um show a little bit of that on video too. I'll do that a little bit later. And... My girlfriend has built a base which looks really cool, so I'll be giving that a little bit of a showcase and a little bit too. 
Uh, first off, though, I am going to go off camera a little bit, do a little bit more building here, and I will see you again in a minute. Okay, guys, so here we are. I've uh, got the body of the fish done, and I think we're actually in a pretty good standing here. I've done the most of the body with these uh, kind of limestone walls, and I've put in some fins using obsidian slabs. I spent ages doing little different little kind of designs of them, and I wasn't very happy. Um, but once I got these guys up in here and put this down, actually, I think I think I'm happy with this. I think it's working. Um, I I really like the ones on the on the spine. The ones I'm not so sure of are these. So do do tell me what you think of the fins on the side. But overall, I, I'm actually really pleased with how this has come out. I think it's coming out really, really nice. Um, over here, I've put in some lights and glass blocks for the eyes. I did end up using the limestone walls for the lips, I guess, of the fish. And here is the mouth. <laughs> I decided to use some coral blocks to kind of give it a bit of a mouthy look. And I've got some water pouring out. I was kind of um, hoping the water would pour mostly off the front of the mouth, but I can work with it pouring off the sides as well. So that's actually okay. So yeah, here we go. Here we have the fish. Uh, there's a few more things I'm going to do with this. Um, like I'm going to be doing a little bit of stuff on the ground and I want a basin for the water to be pouring into rather than just going straight into the river. But the fish itself, I think, is done. Um, the only one thing I've got is because the, the slabs can't be centered positioned in the center of a block from the side the well, from the end I suppose the fins will look slightly off center but that's that's okay anyway yeah here is the build um one thing if I have any blocks I was thinking I might do is give it a little bit of texture by here and there just putting in like um just one of these little limestone wall blocks just to kind of simulate uh, you know, like missing scales and stuff, which, you know, most fish will have. I'm not sure if that's kind of overdoing it or not. Uh, but we will see. I'll put in a few. It's a, whoops. Oh, that went in the wrong place there. Whoops. Let's see. Um, what does that look like? Let's give myself a little bit of a pillar here. Hmm. I actually think it might look better without them. But let me know what you think about that as well, guys. For, for now, I'm actually going to take them out because I... I think it might actually be better off. I think maybe you doing the missing scales thing might be over-designing it. Uh, that is a <laughs> definitely a danger of these builds. Oops. Okay. Ooh. See, I've actually... Um, I'll show you guys actually, yeah. I probably should light up the interior here because I've got... like a just, It's just kind of empty. I'm going to put down some of these lights. Um... Just so that we don't get too much stuff spawning in here. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think of the fish and whether there's anything you'd change about it. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's in its final form yet. I'm fairly happy with this, but I may come across things that I want to change about it in, in the future. Uh, let's give yourself a bit of a perspective image of it here. Let's build up a little bit. Um, oh, I should probably be uh, at the side a little bit more. I'm not getting a very good perspective there. Um, yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, out here. Okay, yeah. So there we are. And uh, okay, so now that we've got that done, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to try out Kate Kate's uh, maze, which I'll do in just a minute. And after that, we'll have a look at uh, Jess's build. And maybe just to wrap things up, I'll show off um, a few more things I have planned for this build here. Okay, guys, I will see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so here we are outside of Kate Kate's new build. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the last one before, and there is no kind of entrance directly on the building. Where we um, go in is actually in here, and she says, uh, you know, a few warnings to leave your bag home, but I've got a sword. Um, I should be okay. So, it's a maze, and 
the beginning of it is a little bit dark, so I hope you guys can see. Um, I would light it up, but I feel like doing that would be kind of going against the spirit of the game. So yeah, as you can see, this, this first bit is kind of, it's very difficult to see your way around. And, oh, ah, here we are. Okay, so it's like in multiple levels. So we got now, and you can see like it's kind of a different style. And uh, I have gone through it uh, once uh, a while ago. Oh, okay. And I cannot remember my way through, so we're just going to see if I can make my way through again. Let's just kill this guy. So, uh, he's being very annoying. Yeah, last time I went through here, I didn't actually encounter any hostiles at all. It's interesting he spawned because uh, the Dark Canyon Stone is actually above us. So, that's very, very odd that that would happen. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I took a different route last time. Let's see. Oh, yes, here we are. Okay, now, this one's a good one. Whoa, okay. Oh, more hostiles. I'm getting loads of hostiles this time around. Whoa, glitchy. Okay, so the, the good thing about this one is that you can see the edges. And that means you can kind of track your way around on the edges of the map. And if I recall correctly, there are orange goo blocks around it. So um, even if I get to an area where I can't directly see... Ooh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> I might be in the process of... Failing utterly here. Yeah, if this takes too long, I will just skip it. I just thought it would be fun to go through it. Just to show you guys what what kind of thing she's made. But I am having extreme difficulty here. It, it is very easy to get lost in this thing. It's a very well done maze, actually. It's really good. It, um, I will say, when I went through it a while, a while back, it took me quite a while to do it. Took me quite some time. And I think, in the end, a lot of these things have to do with memory almost more than anything else. Kind of knowing what uh, routes you've taken and what routes you haven't. Um, I have a very good memory for some things, but not for this kind of thing. I am always losing way. I'm always finding my way back here as well. I think I'm tending to go in a kind of circle. So, here, yeah, and the line. I don't think I do much, so I don't take this route. So this, this might be our saviour. Maybe if I come down here. I, I think I'm back in the central, uh... I'm back in the central, um, kind of loop now. There's a lot of... Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to get through this. Because I... Yeah, I don't, I don't want to bore you guys just by running around in a random maze. But, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through this. <laughs> this is... This is very tough. Oh, I'm trying to remember. There was a trick to finding the way. There was a trick to it. If I just go around, if I loop around like this, I think this might have been the trick to loop around on the right. Let's just make this final test. If this does not work as a technique. If this does not um, help me in any way, then I will give up. Okay, so that's where the exit is. Yeah, so that's the exit. So here we go around. It's quite a small area. It's really interesting that um, the exit hides as well as it does. Here we go. We're actually coming back around. Might just be perhaps in here. 
No. No, I'm back in the loop again. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I, I didn't find my way through last time. I, sorry, I found my way through last time, but I don't know how I did it. And there's another, uh, if I recall, two levels above this one. So this is a very, very tough um, maze. And I, I would definitely say, you know, anyone who gets a chance to play on here should should definitely give it a try. As it's, it, it definitely gives you a sense of accomplishment when you get through it anyway. Um, there's also like a little bounce pad at the uh, top, which allows you to go through onto the roof of the bounce castle. I'm going to give up on this for now anyway, because I don't want to bore you guys. So, I'll take you over and we'll have a look at Jess's base, which was kind of like, this is the next item on the list to show you. Now, just have to sit through the loading screens. I've been experiencing very long loading screens today, and I'm not entirely sure why. Okay, so here we are. Here is Jess's base, and uh, it's kind of like a hanging pod, kind of built in the trees. And I, I think it looks really cool. It, it kind of came out a bit kind of spaceshipy, which is uh, kind of quite interesting. It's uh, yeah, it's 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 really really cool. I've, it's one of those ones where I've never quite seen anything built like it. Now let's see. The, there's a trick to getting inside. I'm going to see if I can find... Oh, yeah, here we are. She actually made the entrance a little bit easier because I asked her so I could uh, show. So she's got a little path up here with uh, the tourmaline glass lighting it and some torches. It kind of climbs up and goes inside this, which turns into, like, a leaf tunnel. Which is really well disguised because you can't really see it from down below. It's not obvious that this is here, which is quite cool. And uh, then you kind of drop down into here, go through this little ladder, and ta-da, you're inside. And I, I think it looks awesome. It's quite compact inside, but um, but it's it's still got plenty of room for all the essential stuff. And I'm I'm wait I'm looking forward to seeing her furniture. Actually, I want to see what she does with the inside of this because it's a really really interesting build. And uh, yeah, I, every, every every base she's made. Um, like since I got her to start playing, actually, it's been, been really interesting. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what she does uh, in the future on the server. So that's that base. Oh, oh, I see a keeper. I'm gonna hop down to a pond and I'm gonna go after it. But yeah, it's an absolutely awesome base, and I'm really, really pleased she built it. Now, off to kill this keeper. One thing I've noticed recently is I, I have been having, whoops, a harder time keeping up with the keepers on sprint than I did before. I don't know if that's just me being impatient about killing them or not, but it, I have, it, it's felt like it's taken longer. Anyway, it's time to go to the central city where I'll be showing you what I've done on the fish fountain. Because I've gotten a fair bit done. And there's still a few tiny things I'd like to add. But I've got it to a point where I'm quite happy with it now. And, the, you know, the, the core of the build is done. There's just like kind of little touches around it. I would like to add, like, kind of a, a little zone around it. I'm going to have to ask um, Mulberry Man how much room I can take up. Because I've got a few ideas for little things to build around it. But the build itself is done. Like the actual structure. The rest I want to do is just garnish, essentially. So here we go. And over here you can see I, I've built the kind of basin for it to pour water out of. So out of its mouth, you've just got the water pouring out here into this. And then from here, it pours down into the river. Um, just because I felt like it looked a little bit odd with him kind of hunching over a lump of dirt. So I felt like there should be a structure for him to be, for the fish to be kind of leaping onto. So yeah, I used um, the carved stone floors and the decorative stone floor. Which is kind of like the first time I've used a lot of these blocks really in a build. I'm actually kind of liking them. 
I might want to use them more elsewhere at some point. I've got a few ideas. Yeah, and the fish itself, I am um, really, really happy with. I am surprised it came out as well as it did. It was a really challenging build. I, I, I must admit, I got a little bit stressed building it because I was not sure I was going to uh, make it come out. Especially as I wanted to have it kind of curling into the ground like this, as if it was kind of rearing out of a hole in the water. And it kind of, and that kind of pose made it a little bit harder as well. But I'm happy with how it came out, and I would really like to hear you guys' feedback. If you like it, if you don't, if there's anything you'd like to you change about, if you think I can improve it in any way, that would be absolutely wonderful to hear. And um, me, Jason, play game has um, Jason, I should call him because it's, <laughs> it's easier. Um, has asked me if I can do the lion option of the fountain over at his base somewhere, and I will absolutely oblige and. Um, because I would love the challenge of doing a line. So, at some point in the next couple of weeks, expect to see um, some stuff about me building a line. And I'm, I'm, now I've kind of taken on one kind of creature build. I'd love to try out some more. It's uh, really interesting because I've never done this kind of build before. So, it's, it's a lot of fun kind of pushing myself into these areas. Um... I am going to have a channel update in the next couple of days as well because I have a few things to announce that I felt I should announce kind of separate to one of these videos because, you know, maybe, you know, maybe you only come here for my single player world or maybe you've, uh, you know, you're more recent and you only really watched the Mulberry Villa videos. So I thought I will actually do a, a channel and that kind of update um, video for a, a few little announcements I've got. Um, expect that in the next day or two. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please leave me any feedback you'd like, and I hope to see you next time.